Hey, good afternoon, traders. All right, so today the coin I want to talk about is Shiba Inu. All right, so there's six things I want to cover in this video. First of all, we reached our entry level price. Secondly, we're going to talk about a bullish triangle that we broke out of. Yes, we did break out of a bullish triangle. Thirdly, we're going to talk about the exit from the triangle and the kiss of the top of that triangle once again before we ride our rocket ship to the moon here. Uh, fourthly, we're going to talk about fib retracement and some questions I got on how I draw it and why I draw it in the reverse on some of these charts. So I'll answer that question here. Uh, fifthly, we're going to zoom into the four hour because I did spot some bullish divergence, which I talked about in some past videos, but I just want to review that again. And sixthly, we'll talk about what your percentage gains will be on this entry area. If you have entered here and you hold to my target sell areas, you can see I have two target sell areas. Uh, first one is more conservative. It begins at our previous high. And it is also the measurement of this triangle. Second one is more aggressive. It comes to the top of this, what I call FOMO, fear, fear of missing out area. All right, first of all, let's talk about our uh, reaching our entry level. All right. So you guys who are subscribers here on TradingView, maybe you saw this on Twitter and Substack. Those are the three places that um, text uh, a post from TradingView will go. Uh, know that a week and two days ago, I called a buy limit order at 0.00002937. All right. Now, the one thing um, that TradingView does not do here is it does not get so granular. It goes to the one ten millionth of a decimal place. So just before I started this video, we were actually right there at 0 0.00002930 and it fluctuating between 30 and 40. So I don't for sure know if we were actually exactly at 37. I imagine we crossed that threshold back and forth as I was looking at the charts. And that's when I decided to, to do this video. Since then, we have um, surged up a little bit. And I'll cover that in just a second when we zoom into the four hour. But guys, you can't get more precise than to the 10 millionth of a decimal point, right? This is precisely what I called a week and two days ago. We have reached that level. And I'm not telling you to put, you know, cash in all your chips here. Certainly not. Never will I do that. And I'm not doing that now. But I'm saying this is an excellent setup an excellent entry area and it is actually what i called a week and two days ago so if you're thinking about trading this particular coin this is the area to enter all right and again small amounts of your designated cash funds for this particular crypto you dollar cost average in as i teach all of you know my traders to do and don't go all in that's not the way to trade all right. And then what you want to do is you want to set your stop somewhere down here. All right. Now that might be a manual stop. It may be automatic, but everybody has a different threshold for risk tolerance. And so some of you may enter it closer to this uh, entry area. Some of you may go further down and some of you still further. It depends upon what your risk tolerance is and how much you can actually afford to lose in this trade. Should we go that far down? because I'm not always 100% right on all of these trades. I have a good track record, and you guys can see that through the past posts that I've made on TradingView, past videos, et cetera, et cetera. TradingView does not allow us to delete anything. So what we have on file is exactly what we have. I can't skew the results of my correctness. And likewise, um, any, anything that I say that is stupid or, or dumb or doesn't make any sense, it's all there. It's the past record. And that, in fact, I kind of like that because that gives all of us a level of transparency that you can't find on other platforms. All right. Of course, from here, 
I replicate all my videos to YouTube and wherever you are on social media watching me, Substack, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, I even have a Rumble account, all right? So all of these videos rec replicate there, and I haven't deleted any there either. But if you want the true record, come to TradingView, and you will see, all right? So that being said, let's talk about this bullish triangle. Here I am on the daily and let's zoom. All right, so this purple line here, that's actually a measurement from the top of the triangle to the bottom, all right? This is where my entry level comes from, the bottom of this particular triangle, which has acted as resistance for Shiba for a long time. And then once we got past this, we rocketed to the moon over here and created at the top of our triangle. And what I do, as I teach always to do is you you measure from the top of the triangle to the bottom and then where do you place this measurement you place where we actually broke out so on the 15th is actually where we broke out and confirmed the 15th is right here so i would set the bottom of that measurement there and look at that it takes us directly into our target area all right so uh, that is where I'm shooting to offload the majority of my profits somewhere in this area. Of course, the goal of Shiba investors is to take out a zero, right? Right now we have four zeros before any numerical value, all right? And what I think is going to happen is once we get up into this area, I think that Shiba investors are going to see we're close to taking out a zero here. And that's why I have this level up here in place. In fact, I should make that a three because that is significant. If we can take out a zero and only have three zeros before our numeric value, that's psychologically a strong and important resistance point. All right, continuing on, what else do I have on the menu here? We've covered the bullish triangle. All right, yes, the exit and kiss. All right, so yes, I, we have exited this triangle, guys. In fact, if I zoom in on the four hour, I may as well do that because we, we are going to do that eventually anyways. You can see more precisely here that uh, where we exited was where I began this measurement. Let me drag this over so we have a better. Can I zoom in here? Oh, I don't. All right. So when you exit these triangles, as you guys hear me often say, what we like to do before we just ride the rocket ship to the moon is we like to come back for some crazy unknown reason. And I've just noticed this through experience. And we like to kiss mama goodbye. That, at, at least that's what I call it. All right. So our triangle represents mama. And look at this, guys. If I can zoom in here, it was... <laughs> I mean, you, this is why I love technical analysis on the crypto space, because it doesn't get any better than this. You don't have outside influencers. You don't have uh, institutional investors, hedge funds, et cetera, et cetera, so massively manipulating the market space. So this technical analysis can be done almost precisely, which is why I got the bottom here if it continues to be the bottom, correct. The other thing is, look at this, guys. It has kissed the top of this triangle. You can't possibly get any more accurate than this to the 10 millionth of a decimal point. We kissed that, and what did the bulls do? As soon as we kissed that, they got their permission slip. And what is their permission slip? Okay, you said goodbye, you're on your way. And now we have this four-hour candle is shooting up directly um, contacting our 20 uh, 20 period moving average <clears throat> all right so we kiss the top of our triangle another bullish indicator what else do i have on the list here fib retracement all right so some of you have pointed out in previous video comments that i am drawing these fib retracements in reverse yes my dear ones i do know that i'll tell you why i'm drawing them in reverse all right let me go here to the configuration and show you first what i mean by reverse so if i were to take this out 
this is actually what the fib chart should look like where you have all of this red space above us and it goes way way i don't know how far up it goes all right way up there all right and then you have these different colored zones below us all right those would be uh, areas that we could target down now the reason why i draw fib in reverse especially on these newer coins is because we are entering into new territory correct so i found through experience that by drawing these fib retracements in reverse we have ourselves some good target areas in which we could potentially hit all right so see this purple area above here i drew the fib retracement from the bottom of the body of the first candle in our breakout here to the body of the top and this gives me a target area of 0.00011367, all right? So somewhere in that area is a more aggressive target. The re reason I say more aggressive is because I call this area here where the box is FOMO area. So guys, once we start to really take off and people see that Shiba and Nu is not messing around, um, they're going to be like, man, I should have bought my ticket to the moon, but I didn't. So now what happens is newer investors, they like to buy up here. They're not going to buy down here where I'm recommending. I, I guarantee newer investors are going to be too nervous, too shaky, and many of them are going to actually avoid buying down here because they think we're, we're crashing. They think we're entering a bear market. They, you know, they help all these pessimistic thoughts are influencing their sentiment on this particular crypto at the moment. So what um, newer investors are going to do, and rightly so, and I'm not criticizing them. I'm not saying they're doing the wrong thing, but uh, what they're going to do is they're going to wait for uh, the market to really move and capture this bullish movement. All right. And so once they see that we are, in fact, headed up, they will wait a little bit more because they still think we're in a bear market. You know, newer investors don't understand how to read all these charts. Um, and so they're just, you know, watching price action. As soon as the trend catches on and you see all the YouTube personalities put out videos about Shiba and all the hype continues, this is the area where the newer investor finally catches on and this is the area where they start buying this is actually the area where i start to take off my profits and so should you by the way so i will play as my substack subscribers know i will play the levels along the way so we go up i sell a portion of my position buy back we go up again we go up in waves right this is the way the market works it's up and down but the trend is your friend and then i try to sell at the peaks at the different levels i don't have them all drawn out here guys but i will sell at the tops of these waves and then offload and then buy back in until we get up in this area this right here is where i take off a majority of my position maybe 75, maybe 80%. And then I wait to see what the market decides to do with the rest of it. We could have ourselves a blow off top. Remember, we're shooting to take off one of these zeros, all right? So we could have ourselves a blow off top and go all the way up here before we finally start our descent down. But these are the areas, all of this in here is where the newer buyers are going to be buying their tickets because they think this thing is going up far more than it will all right so they buy very expensively up here and this is the whole area where i am going to be selling i can assure you of that all right let me get rid of all these markings hopefully that makes sense to you guys all right let us look at uh four four hour bullish divergence so again that is the reason why i draw these fib retracements in reverse on these newer charts we're entering into new territory and from experience i have noticed that these offer significant levels i should have captured an example of that i think maybe i'll do that in another video going forward 
Bitcoin might be a prime example and see if I can find a clean chart and we'll do that for you and show you why I draw them in reverse. From experience, I've noticed they indicate significant levels uh, where you would actually like to sell, where everybody else is buying. All right, zooming into the four hour, I'm gonna show you, uh, we'll review this four, uh, divergence that I see on the charts. All right, so you can see here, put in auto again, all right. You can see here on the RSI, we have price action uh, indicating an upward trend, all right? So we did dip below that briefly here, and then we just actually just recaptured this area in the last 10, 20 minutes with this bullish green candle. Um, I had made a video before this one, guys, and for some reason, it was in full screen, so when I exited full screen, the video stopped and it got canceled, didn't upload. That's okay. Uh, these videos don't take me that long, so I'll, I'll do another one here. And anyways, we have recaptured this level, and on the RSI, this is slightly bullish divergence. But you can see on the chart here, our price action indicates bearish. It's going down, right? And again, we have recaptured that area. But this, to me... This bullish divergence is something that you need to keep in the back of your mind as a variable that you want to factor in uh, to determine and analyze your market sentiment. And we are seeing here that there are bulls lurking in the background, ready to take this thing up. And this is what bullish divergence tells us. All right. Last thing on my list. I believe what I wanted to capture for you is what will our gains be if we enter at the level that I suggested down here from this level to our targets up. So to do that, I'm going to take out my measurement here and we'll go right here. And this is only what I am using in correlation in conjunction with all of the other aggregated data i'm seeing in the crypto space remember all of my videos are the same i they're all pointing to the fact that we are drawing close very close to a close on this drawback in our crypto space so whilst i'm getting bullish everybody else is getting bearish that oftentimes happens as i am somewhat of a contrarian but it's also how I make my money. That's why I sell in these target areas while everybody else is buying. That's why I buy down here while everybody else is selling. If you can set your emotions aside, look at the data, look at the analysis, think logically and with reason and not with emotion. If you can do that, you will be a good trader. So here's what I have for our gains. If we go from our entry area here to the very top, we have almost a 300% gain. That, guys, is a 3x if you just buy and hold. However, my Substack subscribers know that I don't just buy and hold. I will turn this trade into a 6x or a 7x. And if you subscribe at Substack, you can follow along and trade with me. It's that simple. I don't sell anything. You just get to peek into my trading portfolio, see what I'm trading, see what I bought, see how much of what I bought is allocated in my portfolio, see when I sell, when I re-enter. You can just trade along. But if you buy here and sell at the top level target, which is very aggressive, by the way, I would not hold all my funds to that level you're looking at 3x and that correlates with all the other data i'm seeing in the rest of the crypto markets all right we're looking at in the altcoin space three to five x on most of these charts and i'm telling you a massive bull, bull cycle is coming and we're drawing near the end of our De december time frame remember time price pattern so time has to do with december where People are just taking a vacation. They're not trading. Come January, you're going to look at portfolio reallocation, buybacks, et cetera, et cetera. I think that is going to start a bull run like we have not seen before in the crypto space. All right, guys. So my time is running out, but I want to warn you again to be very careful in your trades. Be cautious. Be smart. Be wise. And set those emotions aside. 
and you will do very well. All right. You can basically buy any crypto at this point. I think you will do well. Best of luck to you all.